Wir kehren zurück in die Wildnis. Der nächste Beitrag kommt vom Messerli Forschungsinstitut. Und zwar kommt er von Raoul Schwing mit seinem Thema Cooperation in Kea. New Zealand. Of course, I am not a parrot. I am an animal researcher. Now, it was, what does an animal behavior researcher do? Well, we were supposed to find out what the scaly, furry, feathery, <laughs> and slimy creatures in the world do. More specifically, I am a cognition researcher. This means I not only want to know what they do, but why they do it. <laughs> My research is not unlike that of human scientists studying cognition, <laughs> or even psychologists. <laughs> However, there is one major difference, one hurdle we need to overcome. We can't talk to them. We cannot tell them what we want. At this point, I would like to ask four volunteers to come down. Okay, no vol one volunteer, two volunteer, three, four. Come on. Forceful volunteerism. Someone? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Quick hand for the volunteers. Okay, as you might imagine, I can't talk to them because these are Kia. They do not understand. One arm behind your back, you're only allowed to use one hand. No communication between each other of any kind, other than parrot approved ones, of course. Solve it. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> the reason why the topic is slightly different than what is in the program is because this <laughs> is groundbreaking stuff. We are looking at cooperation in higher animals. <laughs> Imagine you are this animal. Imagine getting instructions but they're in every language but the ones you understand. Thank you very much. You can be seated. Now, in the olden days before Google, we would have had to give up. Or find a friend who was better at it. But even if we had been bold and tried to figure out what to do with this product without any instruction, we would have had a general idea of what to do. <laughs> we wouldn't have screwed up royally. Unfortunately, animals, when they are approaching something like this, they start from scratch. Actually, literally, a lot of them just scratch at it. <laughs> or push. Or whatever this guy did. <laughs> Cooperation is quite a common phenomenon in nature, as we can see here from two different sides of the same fight. It can be found in species as widely distributed as the macaques, 
the elephants, or even the whales. One might even argue that some of the social insects cooperate. Now, at the moment, the strongest evidence for cooperation comes from research into the loose string paradigm. The loose string paradigm allows two animals to pull on two ends of a loose string, which, when pulled simultaneously, will allow them to get a reward. If only one of them pulls on it, then the loose string will slip out, and they no longer can solve the actual task. As you can see, it has been done with many different species. There is even an abstract one, for which unfortunately I didn't find a picture, with trout, fish. Now, one thing that has been found in this side of research is the tolerance of individuals, but also differences between species, has been the main factor that explains the success rate of this sort of cooperation. And the KIA, the parrot's eye research, have the ability to build up tolerance in a very unique and yet at the same time common way. They play. The KIA live in groups that change so frequently that if all they did was aggressively fight over dominance, they would be doing nothing else. Instead, they play with one another. Adult birds will even play with one another. And this seems to raise the tolerance level within this group. So we decided to take this unique New Zealand species and give it a demanding challenge. We didn't want to go just from two animals, which is what has been achieved so far. No, we wanted to just go not to three, but to four. We wanted to double this. Ambitious, yes, but not with the Kia. Because the Kia can build up this level of tolerance. They can allow one another to work together, to coordinate together. And this, minus the researcher rebaiting the trap, is what it looks like. And they'll do this all day long. <laughs> now, not only is this a world first, but possibly it's unique in the animal world. Possibly this is the only species that has the right level of gregarity and tolerance to actually succeed in this sort of coordination and cooperation task. And I hope that in the future we will be able to bring you more results like this, showing you how unique this species is and how wonderful nature is in general. Thank you. <laughs> Great job, Raoul. I, unfortunately, I don't speak Kia, so I'll try English. Um, I have to admit, the Kia are obviously smarter than I am. Um, so I wonder, did they ever manage to trick you? I did my PhD with wild Kia in New Zealand, and I have lost more possessions to them than I would like to admit here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Raoul Schwing. Thank you.